Hey, what's going on everyone? So yesterday I made a video about the RTX 3060 and how it had its hash rate cut in half. Now, yesterday in that video, I asked the question, well, is that gonna happen to any of the other cards, whether they're new cards or old cards? And I speculated that they, it might not happen because Nvidia will wanna keep the price or the value of these GPUs up so they wouldn't put this anti-mining algorithm on the other cards. Uh, and we have some new information now, which is why I'm making this video. And on video cards, they have an article and it says, Nvidia GeForce RTX 3060 anti-mining algorithm is not just a driver thing, technology could expand to more SKUs. So we're gonna talk about that in this video. And uh, we're also going to be talking a little bit about whether it could happen to all of the old GPUs as well. Okay, so we're gonna quickly skip over the introduction here because we're just gonna go straight to the tweet, which is gonna tell us everything that we wanna know. And in this tweet, it's from Ryan Smith, who's from Anantech, and he writes, the official line from Nvidia is that this is a driver thing. Given what they're trying to do, I doubt they're telling us everything. One way or another, we'll find out soon enough. And Brian Del Rizzo, who is the global director of uh, PR from Nvidia, he writes, Hi Ryan, is not just a driver thing, there is a secure handshake between the driver, the RTX 3060 silicon, and the BIOS firmware that prevents removal of the hash rate limiter. So effectively, you need all of these three things for the RTX 3060 to work. So it's not gonna work with an old driver. Now it's possible there may be a hacked driver that comes out for the RTX 3060, which would work with the new BIOS, but I'm not too familiar with uh, all of the stuff that gets hacked and firmwares and uh, drivers and things. So um, I don't really know that much about it, but potentially it could happen, but I, I don't know uh, enough about that type of thing. Um, but whether that's going to come to uh, the other SKUs, well, actually, um, there's some more information from Cop i7 Kimi, and at this stage, it looks like you know Cop i7 Kimi could be Jensen himself, or could be Jensen's brother or Jensen's wife, because uh, they seem pretty reliable with their information. But uh, he said that what I said, the old specs and device IDs of gaming cards will end of life, and. Video cards is a good explanation for this. It says, what is particularly interesting here is that according to the tweets, Nvidia would relaunch its existing SKUs under a new device ID. This means that future RTX 3090, 3080, 3070, 3060 Ti models would carry a different ID and feature the anti-crypto algorithm. It is unclear when and if Nvidia will announce this change. And I would assume they probably wouldn't announce anything. They'll just keep it quiet because it's not something that's really that exciting uh, in terms of PR. So I don't think they're gonna announce that. But um, if it has a new ID or device ID, then I would say that it probably has that hash rate limiter on there as well, which means it's probably gonna have a new BIOS as well. And it's gonna be looking for that new driver. Otherwise, it's not gonna work um, as a gaming GPU. So I think this type of thing is happening and I think um, Nvidia is doing this so that they can create value for their new crypto mining processor line. That's, that's what's going on here. Now, whether they um, nerf all of the old existing cars, I would expect that they, <laughs> well, I don't really know, but um, they could very well have the potential to do so. So I won't say that it's not possible, but yeah, they could definitely do it. So I think uh, that is a real cause for concern. Now, yesterday when I looked at these NVIDIA crypto mining processors, I didn't even think that these processors were that good. Like if you look at this 30HX, that looks like, it's that the Ethereum hash rate is 26 mega hash per second. Looks like the memory size is six gigabytes. So this could be like a 1660 super. And so this could be like a defective GPU that they couldn't sell before to gamers. And now they're gonna bring out for the miners, which is a good thing by the way, uh, that they create more GPU supply out there. But the problem I have, right, is that they screwed over the RTX 3060 and uh, to, create people or to get people to buy these mining GPUs, they decided to screw over the RTX 3060, which would have been a good gaming GPU and a good mining GPU, but they decided to nerf it so that you can't do one of those things anymore on that GPU. 
And I think that's a problem because they've suddenly decided that there's value here in this Ethereum. Um, and now they're going to create their own lineup of mining cards. Um, so they're going to take away value from the average consumer and then put that value into themselves. And that's the problem that I have. And they could potentially do that anytime uh, they feel like it. And so they're going to be using that power as a corporation uh, to do that to people who are the consumers. So I think, uh, you know, gamers who cheer this on and say, yay, more gaming supply. Yeah, you're getting gaming supply, but know that NVIDIA could potentially do this anytime that they want to. They could do that to you next time. Uh, they, they could, for example, suddenly decide, hey, you know, 144 FPS, there's value there. Maybe I'm going to create a card that specifically only does 144 FPS and all of these other cards, I'm just going to lock to 60 FPS. Maybe they, they do that. Like they could do any of those things. Maybe they create a card that only does a certain resolution or a certain um, graphical setting uh, because there's value there. So... Uh, they already do that anyway with their different types of cards. So I think uh, I think this sets a bad precedent. Um, I, again, you know, we had the workstation quadro cards, which is exactly what this situation is with the mining cards. NVIDIA suddenly realized that you could do work with these cards uh, in terms of uh, AutoCAD and rendering and whatever else you do on those Quadro cards and they decided to make that card, lock you out of that on the gaming card and then sell that to the businesses and corporations for more money and that's what they're doing with this new mining lineup. Now <laughs> imagine if imagine if um, Intel or AMD decided to uh, segment their CPUs so they could have they would have like a gaming CPU and then a work CPU and they would say hey um, look more gaming CPUs for everyone now uh, no way right and people would be pissed if they did that so I think uh, this sets a bad precedent uh, that they want to take that value back for themselves um, that mining value out of these cards and put it into their mining GPUs Anyway, that's all for this one. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.